Hi scientists, today we're going to be comparing land snails to water snails using a Venn diagram. We're going to be seeing what things belong to only land snails and what types of characteristics belong to only water snails and what things they have in common, what belong to both. Right now let's take a look at our Venn diagram so that we can start seeing how to organize our information on snails. All right, here we are. So here's our Venn diagram, labeled Venn diagram, and it has two intersecting ovals. This oval belongs to the land snail. Anything that is only for the land snail goes over here under the land snail. All the information that belongs to only water snails goes here under water snails. If the word or item belongs to both types of snails, we're gonna put it right here in the middle section under the word both. For this part, you're gonna be needing your pointer power finger and you're gonna be pointing to see where we need to put the information. Here we go, let's see what our first word is. Lives on land. Ooh, which snail lives on land? Right now, point with your finger and show me. If you pointed to this snail, the land snail, you got it correct. Land snails live on land. Let's put those words under this snail. Let's see what the next word is. Ooh, lives in water. Right now, do a quick point. Where should that go? If you said lives in water should go with water snail, you are correct. Let's take a look at our next word. Foot. Which snail has a foot? Land snail, water snail, or both? If you said both, you are correct. The land snail has a foot and the water snail also has a foot. Let's see what our next word is. Can eat waste. Ooh, which one? does a good job eating waste. If you pointed to water snail, you are correct. This, was, this is what makes them so helpful in aquariums. All right, let's see what the next word is. Shell. Which one has a shell? Land snail, water snail, or both? If you pointed to the middle for both, you are correct. The land snail has a shell and the water snail has a shell. Let's see what our next word is. Eats plants. Which snail eats plants? If you said land snail, you got it. The land snail's diet is made up of different types of plants or vegetation. Let's see what our next word's gonna be. Four tentacles. Ooh. Which snail has four tentacles? Look closely, see if you can do a quick count. If you said land snail, you are correct. A land snail has four tentacles. Two are really long and two are shorter. The two long ones have the eye stalks. Ooh, our next words say two tentacles. Well, if we already know that the land snail has four, we're gonna put it over here with the water snail. Is that what you were thinking? Two tentacles, and you can see them right here. Remember, the water snail's tentacles do not retract. They stay out all the time, unlike the land snail, which has the ability to retract all of its tentacles. Let's take a look at our last word, mouth. Which snail has a mouth? Land snail, water snail, or both? Yes, both, they both have mouths. All right, scientists, here's our completed Venn diagram. In your science journal, you will get to put in your own information onto your Venn diagram page. Now, look closely at the land snail and the water snail. What other things are different about these two types of snails? What other things are the same?
All right, kinder scientists, off you go. Work on your Venn diagrams. Thank you so much for tuning into Comparing Land Snails and Water Snails.